85 yard field goal so they both have the leg to do it how will they do on the accuracy part of it Ben Wilson the walk on sophomore to kick to Taylor and Coker 12 and 22 Taylor Coker wanted him to stay he comes out and smack down at the 16 yard line the game that's third in the country as a wide receiver. He'll get a lot of attention tonight. Ain short toss, Meacham only picks up a yard, goes out of bounds. Again, it's second and 11. Tennessee shows blitz and comes with it. Instead, it's a handoff to Lumpkin, and Lumpkin barrels his way down to the 25. Lumpkin again tries to reverse his field, and he'll lose five yards. He was dripping. Chavis loves to blitz in this kind of situation. Backs off, comes with only four. Tereshinsky still under pressure, and the catch is made by Masek. Tereshinsky tries the quarterback draw, then just throws it away. All SEC kicker is out. His first try in two years. They earned that one. Over the middle, Smith bobbled the ball, and he's regrouping for this year. Play fake up the middle goes Coker. Main short set as they flooded the outside. And Smith will make the catch. He gets to Ains for the end zone. Smith touchdown. Brett Smith with his second touchdown catch of the year. And Rover back. Trey Battle had the coverage. Neither one was close. And the point after is very nice. Tereshinsky with good time down the middle and caught. Yes, a caught. And playing very well. Miko Goodman, number 85, is in as an additional wide receiver. Bryant on a pass that's out of the and he caught it. Caught it right in front of Jonathan Wade. And a defensive back down. Wade never able to get his feet under him so he could jump left it before the clock runs out on the quarter. They do. Seven. Before Tennessee could adjust their defense. Bailey for the point after. Ains, plenty of time. Almost intercepted. <laughs> Almost intercepted. Twat. Cold quit to punt. Mikey Henderson, who has one touchdown return this year and another one that he squandered look out look Mikey out. likes it how about the block on the punter 85 yards <laughs> that time Goodness. Line that one through. And do what you've been doing. Take what this Georgia defense gives you. They don't like to give up big plays. You must be patient and execute. There's enough to get the first down. Here comes the blitz. Ainge crushed by battle. I'm with playing it with the Buttle Dogs. Thomas Brown. Big run down the sideline. And two down, two to go. Yep. Tereshinsky. All day to throw deep down the sideline. Caught it in 12. Picked up by. Third and six. Tereshinsky wants to throw out in the flat. Sutherland down. Touchdown. This guy, all he does is execute an extra point a little bit better than last time. And they do. Almost 93,000 hostile fans. Meacham flanker screen. Check in with Reese. Georgia may have been offside. Ainge with a free play. Coker. Blockers in front. Nice cut back inside. Georgia 29 yard line. Under three and a half minutes to go in the half. Ainge draw play. Coker. Oh, great nice. cut by Coker. Coker 
And one thing about that last play, defensive ends who rush the passer, you make all the fakes they want. They're coming after yeah. you. I think it's a smart call. And a quarterback keeper, that should be good enough for the first down. Back on third down and three. Ainge. Out in the flat, has a first down to Smith, and Smith tries to stay in bounds. Got down to the one. Foster, no oh. signal now. There is touchdown, Tennessee. Boy, he stuck that ball out. He was stopped on his initial move. Will Hoyt for the point after. It's a huge drive for Absolutely. Tennessee. They were dead. Well, you can't replace guys like Harrell. Tereshinsky, that one is tapped and intercepted by Stork. Huge play. Well, you can't fault Tereshinsky on that. Now first down, right on the one-yard line. Quarterback keeper by Ainge, and the big quarterback's in there for the touchdown. The shift in momentum goes to Tennessee off the... That's the transformation that Ainge has gone under. Will Hoyt knocks the extra point out of the shadow of their own goalpost. Pressure coming. Tereshinsky throws and throws a complete ball. Back in there at the fullback spot. And he'll get the carry. Nice the big guy barrels to the 45. What a All right, Holly. They certainly are. They're stepped up big. Lumpkin behind Sutherland. I bet he doesn't grab the face mask this time. No, he didn't. First out of bounds. Good ball fake by Tereshinsky, intended for Lumpkin. Incomplete, and the NC native has hit one from 22. This is from 34. And he got it. Filling in for Brent. Ainge from his end zone. Wow. Over the middle, that's a big play for a first down. Perfectly dropped in there to meet. Ainge goes to the gun. Short set, quick pass to Meacham. Avoids a tackler. To the 40, to the 35. Kentucky red zone alert against South Carolina, if you're interested in that one. Foster breaks a tackle. Here on third and six. Ainge, pressure coming, watch the screen, and then has to desperate throw over the middle. This is the 37-yard try to cut it to three. Perfect. Well, he thanks so much. I'm going to stay on top of that. Martrez Milner took a shot right in the thigh on that last play. Tereshinsky on third down. It's intercepted. What a pick. What a catch by Jonathan Wade. He ran a better pattern than the receiver. It's a big weapon to have on the sideline. Ainge again with all day to throw. Got it to Smith. Who has had a huge find open men in the passing game tonight? Ainge with time. One more time. Wide open meets him. Touchdown. How does one of the leading receivers in the nation into this ball game? About how important it would be for Georgia to get pressure from its front four of total yards. We're going to cut loose on third and eight here. As Tereshinsky goes back to his goal line, throws to the sideline, a lot of con. High snap. And it's blocked. Live ball in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. They had two blocked last week at Ole Miss. A high snap. Pressure off the edge right over Craig Hall. Especially after having to go up and get that high snap. He was very casual about it. And further their way. Five penalties, two turnovers, a block, punt, and 24 points given up in the second half for Georgia. Everything had just come apart at the seams. There goes Thomas Brown. Look out! Look at this! Kidding? Holy cow! 100 yards! Back in it. 
That's Massaqua in motion. Looking his way, Tereshinsky now throws right between receivers. The closest man to it was higher second half. Can they keep the drive alive? Four-man rush. Ains finally pressured. Throws on the run. Complete Meacham. What a great job by Eric Ames. On 22 of 34 passes. Foster. Big hole up the middle. Foster down for some success. But they've done a great job of protecting the quarterback. And Eric's been hot. Ains under a little pressure this time. Throws down to the five. Smith. Wow. Done. And they're saying he's short. About to tailback. He'll get it. Flag is down as Foster dives into the end zone. Now we'll check the marker. Come on for the point after. I missed that. Boy. Well, we've not seen him yet. If they don't get anything in this drive, we might see him in the last series, or the next series, I should say. Four-man rush. Tereshinsky with time. Being hounded. Throws. Complete. Great throw. What a job by Tereshinsky. Generation Bulldog trying to lead his team from behind. Under pressure again. Knocked away. Loose ball. Tennessee. Marvin Mitchell, the middle linebacker, came on a blitz, knocked it away. They're with their front four the way they have all season against Tennessee. Ains wants to throw underneath to cut him, and the tight end will have a first. Back in 1997. That's because of David Cutcliffe, the then and now offensive coordinator. Setups the way Peyton and Eli were, keeps that ball high. Inside the 10, the ball came loose when the receiver hit the ground. That was Lucas Taylor, and he was popped by Tony Taylor, the linebacker. But they're going to say he's down, and that should be 50, and that was to the hated Steve Spurrier when he was in Florida. Foster to the outside, dives for the goal line, touchdown. Right in front of the linesman, he extended that arm and got the ball over the plane to the goal line. going through a brutal stretch and we will see them next Saturday night at Auburn. One of the leaders on Florida's team as a true freshman. Proved this afternoon he threw a jump pass. <laughs> he looked like he was double clutching in the lane trying to get a uh, five foot jump shot and it worked. Percentage but the turnovers two interceptions and a fumble really did the team in. And there's another Stafford turnover. that's picked on the tip and it's intercepted by Hefty. That is his third. He's done here at Georgia as well. And boy, it's just it's great to come on the road and get a win like this for Philip Fulmer of Tennessee. Great poise. It's a huge win for Tennessee. Hats off to the balls who came in here, were dominated physically in the first half, found a way to get a late score, and then came back in the second half and just turned everything around. Final score, Tennessee 51, Georgia 33, the highest scoring game ever in this series. Sports Center coming up next over on ESPN News. It's the post-game extra. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. For Todd Blackledge, Holly Rowe, and our entire ESPN crew, this is Mike Patrick. Good night from Athens, Georgia. Thanks for watching, everybody.